Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Land, I remember as a young boy here, an evangelist by the name of Angel Martinez, and his famous statement was, uh, as a believer, you wouldn't go to hell for smoking. You just get to heaven sooner and smell like you'd been there. Hmm. And uh, yes, that has stuck with me through a number of years. Uh, you know, I, okay. I'm somewhat perplexed at where we find ourselves. Uh, I'm a big believer in prevention. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready March 15th to introduce a, a large prevention bill in this country. We, we spend uh, almost $7 billion a year on prevention through 21 different agencies. We don't get much for it because it's not been concentrated and focused. And I'm highly disturbed that less than $1.5 billion out of $50 billion has gone to fight prevention. Uh, and, and the question I have for you is, you know, why not pass a bill rather than FDA and all this other stuff, pass a bill and say you'll get all the carcinogens out of your product by t nine years from now. You will be decreasing the nicotine level by this percent every year for the next 10 years. Why not go after it? We can't, we can't ban advertising, first, agreement, first Amendment, without consent, but we certainly can say what you can and can't produce when it is such a health hazard. And so my question is, I know where Senator Kennedy wants to eventually go with this, and I'm not necessarily opposed to, you know, of getting rid of the addictive potential of cigarettes. But why not do it directly? Why don't we set up, we know what to do. We know how to do it. Why are we not doing that? Why are we going through this? You know, I, I, the, the, the number one reason for the Food and, Cosme, Food and Cosmetic Act was safety and efficacy. There's no safety in tobacco products of any type. And the only thing they're efficacious at is addiction. So, and we're going to put that through an agency. Why not go for, let's go for the goal. Why don't we go for the meat? Why don't we say, you've got this many years to get all 60 carcinogens out, and you've got this many years by which you'll reduce the percentage, and in the meantime, let's do some federal tinkering in terms of mandates if, uh, uh, through, through incentives to states, if you don't spend some of your tobacco money, a larger percentage, on prevention and anti-smoking campaign, then this will cost you this. And why don't we spend some of the $7 billion a year that we're now spending on prevention to directly go after this? We can win this fight. Answer those questions for me. I don't care who answers them. I think what you're doing is you're empowering a scientific agency to make those very decisions. There's no reason why under this legislation FDA couldn't ramp the levels of nicotine down in 30 years to the levels in tomatoes. We don't need the FDA to do that. We can do it right here. Well, I would argue that you've got a complex issue that takes time to weigh. Do you take the toxins out, the nicotine out? Do you take both? Fine. You, give them, you, give, you set up a, a separate side commission. You say, here's your charge. Here's the 10-year goal. Go do it. We're going to compliment. I think, I think the bill adequately does that, Senator. Senator, I'd like to answer one specific comment you made that might be uh, in error, and that relates to this bill, which talks about nicotine. We all know that's the addictive component of nicotine, but this bill only mandates that nicotine be uh, adjusted in one level, and that is downward. And yet the experience of the individuals who smoke is to compensate by, by inhaling more deeply. And right. thus, we could regulate nicotine all we want, but the fact is not even to acknowledge that what science has found is that people who smoke are inhaling more deeply, putting themselves at far greater risk for emphysema, heart disease, and lung cancer by smoking low nicotine cigarettes is mind-boggling to me. Well, uh, Senator, can I, can I just let me, let, me, let me make one point. There's wonderful new research with drugs that are coming that affect in the brain the addictive center of nicotine. So the combination of the new treatments that are going to come out for nicotine addiction in combination with this can help solve this problem. Uh, Matt? Just